The PicoScope has a channel options menu which allows the user to define the scale factors for any particular probe that has been connected to each of the channels. This could be channels A, B, C or D. So under the channel options menu we can define uh, the probe functions or use a standard probe function from the library. So for example I have at the present connected a times 10 probe to the channel A input. So to make the scale factors read correct I will use the internal uh, library for a times 10 probe. I'll select that and what it's done it's rescaled the vertical scale to plus or minus 10 volts. So for example this is reading correctly now for a, a TTL input on the times 10 probe. But the user can additionally define their own uh, special uh, probe function. So we can select the library and build a new probe. So we can go through the menu system. So we can use uh, units from a standard library or we can define our own library. So for example, uh, this is going to be a current probe and we can define our own unit. So uh, units here would obviously be amps. We can, we can provide any uh, special scale factors and offsets if the probe had its own uh, unique offset conditions. And here we can automatically scale the ranges. So this is the recommended default setting. Uh, we can also apply a filter to each one of the channels. And here finally we can uh, name the probe. So again I'm just going to name it current. And we can write any uh, special description. So it could for example be a high current probe. So that has finished our definition for this probe. So now we've added this to the library and that will always be available in the future now uh, to uh, enable a current probe to be connected. So then we could just go ahead and uh, select the probe. So we could again select our current probe and here it's automatically then changed the uh, range to uh, amps as we defined and it's plus or minus one amp. Um, but we can see also the all the uh, vertical uh, factors have been changed correct for amps.